I'm Jared Hillam. Just last week, somebody on LinkedIn posted a logo cloud, you know, one of these visualizations with hundreds of companies. And this logo cloud was of the top AI vendors in different disciplines. Now, the whole thing was just an eye roll. Basically, you could have taken the top logos from three to four years ago in CDP and CRM and these categories, and it would just be the same logos. So we're living in a moment where it's very difficult to pick out value from noise. AI has just sucked so much oxygen from the atmosphere that there are entire categories that are holding their breath to find out whether they're still relevant or not. Gartner's well-known trough of disillusionment for tech companies can't come fast enough in AI. This is because the amount of money being spent in many cases is just being thrown at the wall to see what sticks. In a lot of ways, it feels like the dot-com bubble. So any indications of productivity gains or productivity losses represent something that we should really pay close attention to. There was an interesting productivity loss from a study that surprised me somewhat. The study was within a sizable group of developers with diverse levels of seniority inside of Ness. And this is the consulting company that just acquired Intricity. Now, I'll include a link to the study in the video description. Ness unleashed over 100 developers to work with Microsoft Copilot, which runs OpenAI's models underneath. They did this over the course of 14 development sprints, each sprint lasting two weeks. The first seven sprints were done without AI, and the last seven sprints were with AI. So there was a reasonable control to compare against. Now, NAS is in kind of a unique position to do this study, as they have a proprietary efficiency monitoring system, which gives a very accurate productivity measure. And they use this during their projects to make sure that they're producing value for their customers. Now, having this made it possible to make very accurate measurements of productivity gains related to AI. And this is where some surprising results surfaced. Now, I'm not going to give away the complete punchline of the white paper. After all, there was a ton of work assembling the study and it deserves your registration to review it. But I will say this, out of the 100 plus developers, there was a group of about 30 to 40, which saw a productivity decrease. And this decrease is definitely worth your attention if you're looking to roll out AI as an assistant to your development staff. It's because of these insights, I highly recommend connecting with Nest development teams. The tooling they have for measuring the progress of development really is a catalyst to ensure you're getting what you expect from the use of AI. Additionally, when it comes to real large internal efforts, it puts operational controls in place so you quickly can see inefficiencies before they get out of control. Now, if you'd like to speak with a Nest specialist about these project controls, I've included a link in the video description. Also, you'll see a link to our AI white paper as well.